a simply supported beam of length L with a point load P in the middle, supported by a hinge on one end and a roller on the other. To analyze the beam, we need to figure out the support reactions first. After that, we will determine the shear force and the bending moment generated in the beam at all points. For support reactions, we use three equilibrium conditions. Rule 1 is vertical balance. The sum of all vertical forces must be zero. Rule 2 is horizontal balance. The sum of all horizontal forces must be zero. And then rule 3, no spinning. The sum of all moments must be zero. We use equilibrium conditions when body is either at rest or moving with a constant velocity. And since our beam is just sitting there holding the load, these rules apply perfectly. Now let's first draw the free body diagram of the beam. We remove the supports and replace them with the reactions they generate. Let's call the beam AB with vertical reactions RA and RB and a horizontal reaction HA at support A. First apply the first rule. The sum of all vertical forces must be zero. Taking upward direction as positive, it gives us this equation, which gives us RA plus RB equal to P. Now apply the second rule. The sum of all horizontal forces must be zero. Since we only have the hinge reaction HA and no other side to side forces, it gives us HA equal to zero. Finally, apply the third rule. The sum of all moments must be zero. We can choose any point on the beam and calculate the moment generated by each force from that point. Since beam is in equilibrium, sum of all moments will be zero. If you remember, a moment is simply force multiplied by perpendicular distance from the point of rotation. Here let's pick point A, the hinge. Because that makes RA and HA disappear from the equation since their distance is zero from this point. Let's take clockwise direction as positive. The moment of applied force P which is at L by 2 distance from the point A is P L by 2. Its direction is clockwise so it is positive. Now the moment of reaction RB which is at L distance from A is RB L. Its direction is counterclockwise hence it is negative. From here we can determine RB as P by 2 and by Substituting this in our first equilibrium equation, we get Ra as P by 2 also.